welcome, welcome to Empowered Motherhood. I am so, so glad that you're here. So if you are joining us on the podcast, then hey, we're all new here. This is our very first one. <laughs> and if you're joining us on any of our other social media platforms, hey, guess what? We're starting a podcast. <laughs> Make sure you go join us. All right. Well, that, that was that, that was that and super quick, right? So if you haven't met me yet, my name is Brenna Stanford and I am the founder of Empowered Motherhood. I am an international best-selling author. I have been in ministry for about 10 years. I have four children and a husband <laughs> and yes, we're done. <laughs> so, Hey, I'm so glad to have you here joining me. So today, Whew, I am actually like pretty nervous, um, but you know, we're here and we're, we're just starting to speak, right? Um, I was in a prayer, oh, not that long ago. And I was like, Lord, like, I just, I know, I know that there's something, I know that it's coming. I know, but oh my gosh, like how, how do I, which platform is video, audio, post, written, like what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? How are we doing this? And, and he, in just his sweet, wonderful daddy of a way, he goes, just start speaking, start saying it. And so there have been recordings that have started to take place, either video or audio on my phone. And so um, if you're end up joining me on any other platform that is not just an audio, there will probably be some that are, that have slides or something on the video because they came from the audio. So with that being said, I want to um, just take a minute and talk about why, like why we're here. And I could go into who we are and and what we're doing and how we're helping to change and serve the world one mother at a time. But if you're really that interested and you're here uh, for the reasons that God has us here, then that can wait. <laughs> um, so first, what on earth are we doing here? Why, why am I here just babbling to you right now? And it's because, well, the Lord already said it, just speak. But he has been taking me on a journey into a place as a Christian that's very scary, right? As, and I say, let's say as a Christian in context, the context is I am a, I'm a 30 year old woman. <laughs> I, I will be turning 30 in a couple of days, right? So I'm a, I am a 30 year old woman, wife, mom in central and southeastern Oklahoma, and I have always lived here. <laughs> I have always lived here, but I've not always been a Christian. I grew up in small town, rural area. I grew up um, the same way, I mean, probably many of us do with different types of dysfunction <laughs> within our family. And there's a whole story I could tell you about my life before Christ. And I will say that I was a, um, I was an older teenager as in my senior year of high school. And he, he talked me into letting, to letting, he talked me into letting him love me. And I'm like, that's funny to hear me say now, but that's where, that's where I was. And, and so my version of Christianity is really been the last 12 years in Oklahoma, America. Okay, so now there are some topics <laughs> that some of us down here uh, are really, really afraid of. And I'm not an expert on them. <laughs> I'm not an expert at all. And when the Lord first started me on this journey of, of like, opening my eyes and becoming aware of some of these things, whew, I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. and he gently and lovingly held my hand and continued to lead me through this 
step by step, there have been, I can think of about two or three moments um, where I can think of a handful of people who, you know, are, are good Christian friends of mine and who let me know, oh, I started to kind of quit talking to you for a little bit because of the, some of the things that you were saying on this topic or that topic. And I'm like, what? And so then like, there was that, that stretching of God showing me something. And then the reaction of some of those close to me within the church. And then, so I pulled back but, and I was like, wait, what? Like, God, I don't, I, I don't want to do anything wrong. <laughs> like, and not, not just, not just wrong, like wrong. Like, I don't want somebody to think that I'm doing something wrong or not give approval because we know, right, that our approval comes from God, not from man. But I don't want to misrepresent or mislead anyone away from you. I don't want anyone to get confused by the things that I'm saying and then look at the miracles that you worked in my past and go, well, was that really God? Because now, you know, she's, you know, over here in this place, right? And so it, it was one of those, I mean, that sounds really extreme, right? But that's seriously how I, how I was feeling and, and where I was. And I was like, ah, okay. And, but then God like kept guiding me. He kept guiding me. And, and we would, and he would guide me down this path and, and I'd see this or become aware of this and, ah! and, uh, and then he'd guide me a little further down it and he would show me pieces of it that are truly ours and then the other things that are not and that have been distorted and disrupted and, and twisted. And then I would hear some Christian friends going, well, I don't know about that. Then I'd go, oh God, no. what about that? And, and this journey kept going and then we'd go down another path and, and it was the same thing. And so, um, not to ramble on not to ramble on. That's the story of what this journey has been like. And, and so I know it's a touchy subject <laughs> and it's a touchy subject, but there is so much power and authority that we Christians have left on the table and we've surrendered. And even though I have been terrified of even approaching this, this topic in anywhere except for a really, really safe setting. Um, that is a one-on-one -on -one type of conversation <clears throat> between trusted people. Like I just haven't, I haven't done it, but I'm telling you that God, he created a moment for me last night to be able to see, okay, no, I have to, because if I don't, then no one else will. And the very lion that the Lord has me chasing down <laughs> right now is, is a result of generations of Christians not standing up and speaking out, not taking their authority, having that form of godliness, but denying its power. And so I, as we venture into whatever this turns into, I can say to you right now, I have zero plans except to possibly fit in to do another like introduction episode, get to know me and what we're doing here a little more um, for episode two. But I like, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but I literally have no plans for this because I don't know what God's going to do. I know what he's done already and I can share and will be sharing some of those. And, and here's the thing, you guys, <clears throat> if you have been around empowered motherhood, then you know this and you can expect this. If you have not ever been around empowered motherhood or me, then know that I absolutely love love discovering and learning and seeing all of the types and shadows and symbolizations in the Bible. But even more than that, I love finding how those things that are so mind blowing and belief busting, I love discovering and letting God teach me how to use those things in an applicable way on a daily basis. Because that's the that's the thing that we miss. 
uh, as Christians, just as a whole, in general, typically, okay, am I using enough? Spread it out there for you. <laughs> is that we let the Lord give us revelation in our hearts, our minds, and our understandings, and our beliefs, but then we don't act on it. And and I hesitate to say even beliefs just then, because if, if it was a true belief, it would be producing results in our life, right? But that's a different, that's a different topic. But until we can take those new revelations and learn how to yes let them grow deeper and root further into our belief there is still a form of action right and we look at the bible there is belief and action then results so this is the pattern that the lord has set up for us and in this church world we have unfortunately kind of just gone to revelation does it really need to be deeply rooted as a belief? No action, no results. And so we have the, this understanding, but we're not too sure how to live in it. And the earth, <laughs> the earth is waiting for us, y'all. So I'm really, really passionate, really passionate about us learning how to live it out. So yes, we are gonna be talking about some hard topics we are going to be discussing things knowing that I am not a master. I am sharing with you revelation and I love open, free, kind conversation. Conversation where we can stretch each other and grow each other and ask questions and be looking for answers, not for what we want to hear. Conversations where we can voice what we've learned and not feel attacked when the other is voicing what they've learned that might be different, right? All of these things are great ways to have conversation here with us in Empowered Motherhood. And so those are great things that grow us. And as we grow and learn and discuss, we are going to apply. You're going to hear me hint on things. There is going to be some language that you're going to learn and pick up along the way. Some empowered motherhood language that comes from our signature coaching system. And you're going to hear some of it. All right. So just make sure you comment and ask questions. All right. So it's going to be fabulous. This is going to be a really fun journey and I can't wait to get to hang out with you more and discuss a little more of this. Um, man, Empowered Motherhood, just real quick, we are a community of women who are here to empower each other. We have a signature coaching system that revolves around the PAM method and it comes directly from my empowerment journey with God through depression. And we get to coach each other and teach each other this and connect and encourage and edify and lift up and challenge. And that's who we are and what we're doing. And we are here to change every home by helping to create life change in every mom. because there is emotional freedom for you. There is a way of living for you. There is a real life change that you can have. There is peace, power, and purpose for you. And with Empowered Motherhood, we walk that journey together fueled by Jesus oils and coffee. <laughs> so make sure that you come back, hang out. If you were here for this first one, right? On whatever platform you are, drop a comment. Let me know who you are and how you feel if you were to just, if you were to describe yourself as an empowered woman, what are three words that you would use to describe yourself? And let me know some topics that you think you find yourself running away from as a Christian. I didn't even get into a little bit of that. You guys, okay. <sighs> there is a lot. Let me just say quickly. <laughs> and I know I've said it earlier. There's all this power that we have left on the table as Christians and we have not picked up and taken for ourselves. And the enemy has taken our 
our tools. He has taken our tools and our abilities and he has twisted them and distorted them and sold them. And it's terrible and it's disgusting and it really makes me mad. But we're here to pick them back up. So don't be afraid of words like manifestation. Don't be afraid of belief, of affirmations, of speaking over your life, of declaring things, of prophecy. Don't be afraid of astrology. Don't be afraid of the atomic science, of conscious and subconscious and unconscious, of all the consciousnesses. Don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of creating and co-creating your life, not with the universe, but with the God who created the universe and everything in it, including you. Do not be afraid. There is no power that can overtake you when you have the power of Jesus Christ resurrected from the grave in you. No power. If you've got the power of Jesus in you, then demons run and flee when you come carrying his name. Right? Okay? So there's just a little bit of that. We are also going to be talking about happy mom hacks for making sure that we're taking these kingdom principles that we're using and being able to apply them to our life in a realistic, doable, actionable way that creates results in our life. We're going to be talking about beliefs and mindsets. And yeah, we're even going to be talking about aromatherapy and how you can use the tools of the garden that you were placed in, right? To work with you in your life as just another tool in your toolbox. All right. So it's going to be fun. I'm not an expert and I don't know it all. But I really look forward to getting to know you better and learning with you. So we'll talk soon.